Hi, my name is Emily Neville. I'm back today with a devotion from one of my favorite devotion books. It's called Devotions for the Beach and Days You Wish You Were There. This one's called Breakfast on the Beach. Jesus said to them, Come and eat breakfast. Yet none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? Knowing that it was the Lord. It had been a tough morning, to be sure. Following Jesus' death, several disciples returned to their regularly scheduled programming. They got up early, took their fishing nets, and nothing. Not a bite. Until some guy stood on the shore and called out a weird suggestion to throw their nets in from the other side of the boat. I wonder if any of them grumbled briefly. What difference does it make which side of the boat we throw our nets from? And who is this guy? But by then, they were desperate enough to try anything. Suddenly, when their nets were heavy, heavy, the same question took on a different meaning because they knew the answer. John shouted, It's the Lord! And Peter could not get to Jesus fast enough. Other than suggesting that they add some of the fresh catch to his spread, Jesus' sole response was, Come and eat breakfast. Now wait a minute. When read in context, the scripture notes that this is Jesus' third post-resurrection appearance, which is a miracle unto itself. After all, these men saw him perish on the cross. And not only that, he's preparing a meal on the beach, not as a ghost or an apparition, but as a physical being able to lift things and build a fire, etc. Then, after all of their efforts had been useless, he provides an abundance of fish with one simple instruction. After all these marvel, marvels, he simply says, Come and eat breakfast. Yes. We create so much unnecessary hoopla on our own regularly scheduled programming. We plan, we implement, and we work hard, and we get frustrated when nothing comes of it. Desperate and empty, we finally look to Jesus as a last resort because we don't recognize who he is. And sometimes, really, all he's asking is that we come join him and take part in what he's prepared and created. The rest will come. So, with summer coming on, declutter your minds of plans, schedules, and to-do lists. Instead, look out upon the waves. Wiggle your toes in the sand. Absorb the sights, the smells, and the sounds, and enjoy the moment for what it really is, not what it means, not what lies ahead, not how you arrived here. All that will wait for another time. For now, just be present with Him. After all, in the best relationships, sometimes words aren't necessary. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I bring no words, no petitions with me right now. Just a moment to be still and commune with you in gratitude and love, using all of my senses to absorb and celebrate your beautiful creation. Thank you for all you do and all you are. In your holy name I pray. Amen.